Let's get good. I am the Gamer Under Development, and this is my July channel update. So, before I get started, I do want to take a moment to thank the people that Patreon last month, that being Bazzer and Buzzkill McSquared. Thank you for all of your support, and if any of you would like to help support the channel, there'll be a link for the Patreon down in the comments, as well as probably a card somewhere on here. Th this way? Maybe this? No, probably this way. Anyways, one of those ways. There'll be a thing. If you guys want to support, it's a buck a month just to help keep the channel going. I appreciate all of your help and support. Let's move on. So going to the schedule for this month, I told you last month the schedule wasn't going to change and then Monster Train came around. That was actually a gift from a friend and once I got it, I just became addicted to it. So this time I'm going to tell you again, the schedule's not going to change with one caveat. Somebody did mention RimWorld last month, so I'm kind of looking at that. I might swap that in for something else. I'm not sure what would go out at this point. I think maybe what would go out would be the Warframe guides, but I'm not sure when I want to be done with those, to be honest. So let's start with Warframe. Warframe will continue, but but the guides are becoming more problematic because it's a beginner guide series and we're kind of past most of the beginner content. Now, that being said, there's still content left to be explained. There's a whole lot of different game mechanics that I'd like to introduce to people because the game doesn't do a great job of introducing them to you itself. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long those are going to run. However, if they do keep running, then we probably won't see RimWorld. If I do get to the point where I feel like there's not a whole lot to add in a beginner's guide anymore, I may switch RimWorld onto the channel in Warframe's place, but I kind of doubt that. It's still something I'm mulling over, you know? Like, I'm not sold on it yet. Moving on to Tuesdays. Tuesdays have become Monster Train. If you guys play Monster Train and you enjoy it, let me know in the comments because I am loving it. Monster Train has been an absolutely refreshing experience for me. And that's coming from somebody that hates tower defense games. Like, I'm not a big tower defense guy, but the combination of deck building, card game, and tower defense works really, really well in my opinion. So if you guys are also playing Monster Train and you want to create custom challenges and send them in to me so that I can do them on video, be my guest. I think that would be a great way for the community to get involved in the content. Uh, and I'm honestly just excited to see what you guys come up with. Punish me. I will make it work or lose horribly in four minutes, which is actually what happened when my friend sent me a custom challenge. But that's besides the point. Your custom challenge, it'll go better. I promise. Maybe. Um... All right, moving on to Wednesdays. Right now, Wednesdays are a sort of alternate day. We use Wednesday to either do another Warframe guide if it's necessary, or I'll do an MW5, or I'll do something else in that slot, kind of just transitioning around between a couple different things there. That being said, since the Warframe guides are kind of tapering down, maybe we'll we'll rededicate that Wednesday slot back to MechWarrior 5, or maybe we'll do something different. Maybe we'll put RimWorld in that slot. Can't say for sure, guys. I'll know more going forward. Uh, <laughs> wow. And I told you guys I wasn't going to be changing the schedule this month. Looks like I'm really wishy-washy, huh? Anyways, moving on to Thursdays. Thursdays, we're still doing Old World. I'm loving Old World. I want to keep going with that. Uh, it does seem like our entire family line is dying like every episode. So I don't know how long we'll go before we completely don't exist anymore. Uh, but that that's... A problem we'll deal with when we get there. I'm enjoying Old World. I hope you guys are as well. The Roma playthrough is going quite nice. We've got this crazy war going with Carthage where Carthage is just like rolling us and then we fight back and it looks like we're winning and then Carthage rolls us again. Uh, so I'm, I'm really in, engaged by it and having fun with it. So I'm going to keep going with that. And then on Fridays, I've been releasing either a Fire Pro Wrestling tutorial or something else in that same vein. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing this month, and I can't tell you which week it's going to start, but I can say it'll start this month. We are going to be running a Fire Pro Wrestling GFW tournament. That is going to be a Young Lions tournament for all of the people that signed up for this season. This tournament is going to function as a way for us to publicly show you guys all of the new ro roster members, as well as for me to kind of look at the logic and make sure there's no loopholes or anything before we go into Season 3. Plus, it'll give me time while we run this tournament to finish the other off-season stuff we need for GFW Season 3. I hope you guys are as excited about that as I am, because I am insanely excited about that. I cannot wait I just, I, there's no words, guys. There's no words. I'm super excited to see how it goes. I'm also excited because we've had some great people join GFW this season. So we've got some new members of the team. So shout out to Goth, my commentator, my color commentator, my co-commentator, my boy Goth. Uh, and then, of course, Leon Gable, who is now helping out with some of the edit creation stuff. Thank you very much, sir. And then Professor Asher, who's been helping out with a lot of the graphic design stuff. 
Uh, we are moving forward towards season three at a good pace because of those people. So thank you to all of them. Of course, I'm still working as well, but I wouldn't be where I'm at right now with that without their help. Uh, in addition, I do want to make one more quick announcement. If those of you, <laughs> if those of you, that's English, guys, that's real good English. If you play Fire Pro Wrestling and you're looking for a home on the Internet, I highly recommend you go to firepropc.com. Firepropc.com or FP2 is a Fire Pro community that is run by Bozo, who's a member of the Mod Pack Discord. You've probably seen him. He releases tons of incredible custom move packs and just grade A work. Fire Pro PC is the place where most of those grade A edit makers and move makers and part makers and tutorial makers and everything else kind of come together on the net. I know Critical Club's out there, Critical Club's cool. Fire Pro PC is the place to be though, and I'm not just saying that because I am officially part of the FP2 team now. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of saying that because I'm officially part of the FP2 team, but the reality is the FP2 site has so many resources on it guys and i i just put all my tutorials up on there as well uh but there'll be more stuff for that site probably some stuff that's exclusive to that site too um i'll be putting up a lot of my old arenas and things like that on fp2 so if you just want to come and grab those there'll be like a resource page on the site where you can come and grab say the ascension arena or something like that just in case you want to run events on your own time whatever i do ask that if you come get those resources and i'll say this on the post though that you don't use it for any youtube stuff or whatever without asking at the very least uh and that's because obviously i built all this stuff to put on my show and i would you know like to keep it for my show that's probably all i've got for this month guys that really is uh i do just want to say thank you again to everybody like I went back through and read the comments last week, and for some reason, and I think it's that when you reach a certain size, YouTube is like, you don't need the comments anymore, you don't need to know. So I don't get notifications for like 90% of the comments. Uh, so if I don't respond to you, it's not because I don't care. It's not because I didn't read your comment. It's, well, I mean, it is kind of because I didn't read your comment, but we'll get there. It's not because I, I didn't take the time out of my day to come talk to you because I like to talk to all of you guys. Like, I get the best feedback from general audience members because it's different, right? Like, if I ask somebody who's in GFW, like, what do you think of the content? What do you think of the channel? Of course they're going to be like, oh, I think it's great because they're in it. What I like to hear is from you guys and how you guys feel about stuff. And anyway, so I, I went through and I found all the comments I hadn't responded to because YouTube wasn't telling me about them. And you guys are awesome. Like, let me let me just put it that way. You guys are awesome because I went through those comments and it was a it was a kind of like I don't know. I'm I'm a human being, right? So I struggle with depression and all those things, just like everybody else does, especially during the the quarantine and the pandemic. Going through your comments last week, though, like actually very much brightened my day. It put me in a really good mood because you guys are just awesome. Like, I mean, even yesterday, somebody messaged me on Discord and was just like, "Hey, I just want you to know, like, your GFW stuff is great. I'm loving it. Thank you for the content. It's definitely been helpful during the pandemic." And that's awesome, man. That's <laughs> it's it's kind of silly to sit here and talk about this. I don't know. It feels ser silly, right? It feels it feels si English is hard, guys, especially when there's emotion behind it. Uh, it feels silly to sit here and talk about this because like there's this, I think, stigma if you're a content creator that if you're talking about this stuff, you're really just like trying to puff yourself. I I'm not trying to puff myself up, guys. I don't care. Like, I, I have no misconceptions of where I stand in the hierarchy of things. I just wanted to say thank you, because I really appreciate some of the positive comments. And I mean, even negative comments can be helpful if they're, you know, constructive criticism. I, I actually appreciate negative comments, too. If somebody's like, hey, man, your audio sounds a little harsh here, that actually helps me a ton. I go back, I find the spot, I figure out what went wrong, and I can fix it for next time. So I just, I guess, thank you, guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Uh, thank you again to our patrons from last month. Buzzkill McSquare and Bazzer. <laughs> Buzzkill McSquare is is a new one for me. Sorry. So it took me a second to, to recall the exact order of those because I wasn't sure if it was McSquare Buzzkill or Square McBuzzkill or Buzzkill McSquare, but it's Buzzkill McSquare. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for supporting. And don't forget, if you want to help support the channel, go on and check out Patreon. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to go ahead and give us a like or subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Bye!